Well, hi everyone. Today I have something very different for you guys. I'm always showing you videos of my cactus garden outside and um, that is awesome. But for a while, um, I wasn't able to have a cactus garden outside. So I still love cactus and I wanted to have something for me to be able to enjoy and inside. And so here you go. These are my cactus or cacti and that live forever. So here you go. Let me go ahead and give you a little tour of my faux cac cacti. And um, I made all of these. Um, I work with felt and knitting and basically anything that um, that uh, that I see I I can create in some type of medium. So in this case, I thought that this would be so cute, especially like, um, let me see, let me show you what I sold it. Oh, here it is. Um, these are push pins. Isn't that the cutest thing? Like for a seamstress or, you know, she could use that as a push pin um, pot. But yeah, I have some barrel cacti here. See, there they have little... Um, beads. I have some beading, some little pearl beading. I added the flowers. See the, the cacti? They're so beautiful because there's so many variations, right? And then the flowers are so vibrant. So an artist can exaggerate. I'm going to be doing a series of paintings um, of, uh, of cacti and succulents. And um, I have painted several in the past, but yeah, that's one of my things I'm working on this year. So just to show you um, some of the ones that I've made so far. And really, I mean, I this is something that you can you can um, enjoy and create. And I do sell these on um, on Etsy. Um, yeah, you can look me up by my name or Artsy Lady Four. Um, but yeah. Uh, just wanted to show you this and hopefully you enjoy it. Look how kooky this guy is. Christmas time, I put some little twinkle lights on him and he's so pretty. He's so cute. And yeah, a bit see more. He's not a he's not a cactus, but um, I created him from the little shop of horrors. And he's just something fun to have in my studio. And so there you go. I just wanted to give you a looky and and show you my collection that I have and oh wait let me show you this one here this one uh yeah it's probably like an aloe or something inspired by an aloe made out of felt isn't that cute but look at that one right here this one this one's made out of rocks just regular rocks paint them you stick them in in this case I have brown rice because um yeah I have a hard time cooking brown rice so I just have them in there. I made a little felt flower for this one. But isn't that cute? That is so cute. That's something that I think any cacti or cactus lover would love. And um, I really try to, to make the flowers unique. Uh, because, the, I mean, yeah. Cacti have beautiful, beautiful flowers. Look at that. Yeah, and the colors, I mean, you can just go crazy with the yarn, with the felt. So if you knit, or if you create, if you're a creative person, and if you're not, give it a go. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you, you will enjoy it. Okay, let me show you this one here. I didn't talk about my euphorbia here. My euphorbia, um, I really love this one. Um, this one I did some detailed embroidery. On the edges and then I alternated the colors. Isn't that cute? So cute. And then I added some little buds at the bottom. And these are all like ceramic pots, which um, I've been tempted to take them out and use them in my garden for my real plants, but these are so cute. Now let me show you how or where I have them. Uh, I have him here in the window. I have like a little makeshift um, shelving. So
so that's where I put them. But the awesome part of of these is that you do not need to worry about overwatering them or killing them because of the sunlight or anything like that. This is so cute to put on your desk or like I said, just a, a garden window or just to wet your whistle if you're a cactus collector and a succulent collector. This is something that I think that, um, that is so fun to collect. So, alrighty. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, subscribe please and like the video and leave me any questions um, down below and uh, we'll talk to you later.